Hi, good evening. Welcome to Cooking Uncovered. And tonight I'd like to show you this phenomenal recipe for this soup. And it's a carrot soup. The base is carrot. But the great part about it is, inside the soup you have a luscious flavor of orange and curry. And amazingly, it works very well. Now this is a recipe that um, a friend of mine gave me at work, Rosanna, and um, I took it with my students and I adapted it a bit and then uh, I've come up with this uh, great, healthy, nutritious, quick soup recipe. So, um, in the pot on the stove here, I have four cups of uh, diced onions and I'm going to just put these last um, carrots in that I just uh, peeled and I cut into sticks, now I'm dicing. So this is just the last of the carrots going in. Of course, I think you can never have enough carrots in soup, they're so delicious. So in that goes. And what you want to do is you want that to saute for, um, you want the onions transparent and you want the carrots to go a bright orange to release all their flavors. Now, just before we, while that's sauteing, I just want to quickly show you how what an easy way it is to dice um, a carrot, believe it or not. When I peel my carrots, this is the way I teach my kids at, at school, I actually teach them not to peel on the cutting board because then if there's any dirt on the peel, it gets onto your cutting board. But I'll just peel on the corner of my board and please don't tell my students. Um, so just peel, very light touch so that you don't take off all the inner layers. All you want is just the grungy peel. So that goes in the garbage. Now. I take off the root end and the stem end. That goes into my garbage pot. Now the best way I, I find of doing this is cut the carrot in a manageable size length. Now, if I was going to do carrot sticks, these would be great, a great length for carrot sticks. So with a small carrot like this, I just cut the carrot round in half and then place it on the flat on my cutting board. And the same with the other half. Just cut the carrot in half and place the carrot on the flat. Now, all I'm going to do is make carrot sticks, basically. So I just slice through and make whatever size sticks I want. So double, just in half there. Now, you see, I have an array, an arrangement of carrot sticks that now I can either use for carrot sticks or I can turn and I can dice for carrots. So, and there's my dicing. It's so quick and so simple if you follow that method. So back to the pot. Okay, now my um, what is it in here? Something funny in my in my soup. All right. So now my carrots are starting to turn a bright orange. My onions are transparent. They're um, not opaque. They're not white like they were when they were they were raw. They're kind of opaque, transparent. So which is perfect. So to this, I want to add about a tablespoon of uh, curry. So we're going to add a full tablespoon of curry to this. If you really like the curry taste, then add more because it's really delicious. So here we go with one tablespoon of just your yellow curry. It's perfect. To that I'm going to add a teaspoon of my orange zest. So I've got one orange and what I've done is I've zested it so what you end up with is the orange zest. Isn't that perfect? So it's about a teaspoon of, of orange zest is what you end up with. And then the juice of one orange. And I have my handy dandy juicer here. I have my handy dandy juicer here. So this is the way I juice my orange. And it comes into, see this? I love this. So I just squeeze it like that. and. Uh, then my, all my juice gets into the container here. And look at this luscious juice that I have. So I'm going to actually save this though, but I wanted to show you my zest. So, orange zest and curry go into the pot and you give it a good stir. Now what you want is you want the curry to cook um, off to release its oils and its flavors and definitely its aroma. The orange and the curry, honestly, are absolutely amazing. The smell, already the smell, is so delicious. So I'm just going to let that saute away. Oops, my carrots. I have to throw my carrots, the rest of my carrots in. Carrots in. All right, now 
the next thing you're going to add is stock. So I'm just going to use a vegetable stock today because my daughter's coming over and this is a vegetarian soup. I mean, it's a vegetable soup, so I'm going to make it into a vegetarian soup. But I have some luscious chicken stock in the fridge, so if you wanted to use chicken stock, it would taste really amazing. All right, so this is really <laughs> looking lovely. And the, the smell, I, I wish you could smell it. it Oh, the orange. And, okay, so what, it, what we want to add is probably a whole container of vegetable stock. So I've got a little bit left in that one, and I'm just going to open this one. And this is a uh, low-sodium vegetable stock, stock, so that's perfect. We're just going to add that in. It's about 900 mils, mLs of stock, which would be perfect. If you don't have stock in the house, honestly, just use water and use some bullion cubes or, or whatever it is you like to use for your stock. So, I guess with the a little bit in this in the other container, you um, end up with about one liter of stock. Now, we're going to cook that down. Now this, because it's carrots, it does take a while to cook, so about 45 minutes on the stove. At the very end, I add my luscious um, orange juice to the very end and then you keep uh, you to keep cooking and then what I do is I puree it but I don't want to fully puree it because I do like the chunks of, of carrot in it and um, so I want to show you that I would puree it with a, an immersion blender which is a perfect way of doing it rather than putting it in a, a blender and that is right here I'm going to show you that so here on my stove is the soup that I met I made earlier. Now there's a one little switch up at the end, one little gorgeous addition. So here's my soup. I want to show it to you. It's just I pureed it halfway. It is so delicious. All right, so there's my soup. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? Now I want to add just a little bit of cracked pepper. You could do this before if you wanted. And the trick here is a just about a tablespoon of Pecorino Romano cheese. It is, this is just to die for. It's so good. So just grate that onto the top of each soup bowl and that melts away. And honestly, folks, this is amazing. So here's my very healthy, very delicious. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see it very well, can you? Very healthy, very delicious. Um, carrot, ginger, and orange soup. And to the top of that, we've added that beautiful Romano cheese. So, I hope you like this, and it's been fun showing you this great recipe, and thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. If you have any questions at all, just go to my web website, www.miriamboris.com, and um, you can always email me at mlboris at telus.net. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video if you like this video and I hope you enjoy this. This is just amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye.